in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to set up your calories for fat loss. Okay, I'm gonna try and break it down and make it very, very simple. As you can see here, we have protein, we have carbs, we have fats. You may have heard of 449 before. There is four calories in a gram of protein, four calories in a gram of carbohydrates, nine calories in a gram of fat, and then seven calories in a gram of alcohol. So we have our protein sources, obviously meat and eggs, they kind of carry over into fats as well, whereas whey and fish tend to be lean. I may have missed some out, but you get the point. One thing I'm just gonna say quickly as well, which might ruffle some feathers, four calories in a gram of carbohydrates. So if you have 100 calories worth of fruit, 100 calories worth of oats, and 100 calories worth of rice, it is 100 calories. Fat loss will be the same. You might feel fuller on one of them, you might be hungrier on the other, you might be bloated off one and digest the other well, but from a fat loss perspective, as it's a game of calories, it does not matter, okay? Now, what people tend to do when they're trying to lose body fat, as you'll always hear, you know, find your maintenance calories and then be in a 500 calorie deficit. You'll hear that a lot because a 500 calorie deficit across the week is three and a half thousand calories and that is the equivalent of one pound of fat would give you two kilos of fat loss per month, which is a pretty good rate of change. In terms of how do we set them up for you, imagine you are a 200 pound male or female, 200 pound male, that's about 90 kilos. With our protein, we wanna have one gram per pound or 2.2 grams per kilo. So if you're a 200 pound male, you would be having 200 grams of protein, remember that. So this is, I'm just gonna imagine this person, uh, if you're 200 pounds as well, a pretty standard calorie target to go for is 10 times your body weight. So a 200 pound male would go for 2000 calories. That would put them in a pretty decent calorie deficit. Or that 90 kilo male, you would times it by 22, that would give you 1980 calories. It's kind of the same thing, call it 2000. 2000 calories, 200, gram male, 200 pound male, 200 grams of protein, even if they're 90 kilos, okay? That leaves you with carbohydrates and fats. Now, some people will do 40% will do protein, 40% carbs, 20% fats. I'm here to kind of debunk this and say, you can do whatever you want. Now, a lot of people will say, you know, you've got your 200 grams of protein, and then you'll get 20% of your calories from fats. Obviously, there's nine calories in your fat, so you'd have 20% of your calories coming from fats, and then the, the rest of your calories would come from carbohydrates. And as you progress into that deficit, you would drop your carbs and fats accordingly and always keep protein the same. But what I wanted to talk about today is it doesn't really matter what you do. You might be someone that loves fats. You might love having almonds. You might love having salmon. You might love sirloin, ribeye, and eggs. If that's you, and you find that easier to stick to, then you're gonna be someone who is a high protein, high fat dieter, and you wouldn't be at 20% pro uh, fat. You might be way higher than 20%. That's completely okay. Because we're keeping to 2,000 calories, that is what we're doing for this individual. If you're 150 pounds, you're at 1,500 calories, 150 grams of protein, it's the same thing. If you're somebody that loves fat in your diet, you feel full when you have omelets, you know, you like to snack on nuts, you love your, your salmon and your fatty whatever. Obviously, to stay within your 2,000 calories, your carbohydrates would come down. That's totally fine if that works for you. What about if you're me and you're a high carb dieter? I'm somebody that works better on low fats and I love fruit when I'm dieting. I love oats, I love rice, and I love potatoes. They help me feel full. So I'm somebody that goes quite low on my fats and I go quite high on my carbohydrates. As long as, let's say I was 90 kilos, I'm a little bit more, I would stick to this. Fat loss would be the same but whoever enjoys their diet is most likely gonna stick to it. So, now we've got that out of the way. Imagine you're creating this 500 calorie deficit that you always see for that three and a half thousand calorie drop per week. We don't have to take it all from food. You might be the someone that loves exercise. So you might take 250, so imagine, right, your maintenance, if, if this is your deficit of 2,000, your maintenance, let's say that's 2,500. We've dropped 500 calories to give us the deficit and I've worked out the macro 
fitness for you. However, you might be somebody that loves exercise. So you might not pull 500 calories from your diet. You might pull 250 calories from your diet and then burn 250 calories from your training. You might do 200 calories from your diet, 300 calories from your training. We can create our deficit through taking our calories down pretty straightforward. We can, we can make that deficit bigger by increasing our step count. If this 200 pound male, for example, is doing 10,000 steps a day, he's probably burning about 50 calories per thousand steps. There's another 500 calories on top of this deficit. And suddenly he's able to lose more and more and more fat while still eating a decent amount of food. So we have steps to increase our deficit. We have pulling our food to increase our deficit. We have training you know, big training sessions to burn calories. And then we also have cardio on top. There's so many different ways to lose body fat, okay? Don't just think you have to eliminate carbs, you know, starve yourself, the biggest deficit ever. You're never gonna stick to it. Remember, protein is our most important macronutrient. It's number one. You can be a high carb dieter, that means you're a low fat dieter. You can be a high fat dieter, means you're a low carb dieter. We need to weight train because we need to keep as much muscle as possible. We need protein protein high at one gram per pound of body weight or 2.2 grams per kg of body weight. And we need to increase our deficit through output, training steps, cardio. We don't just have to take away food. And understand that fructose, potato, it's, it's all the same stuff when calories are counted. Find the way that works for you. If you love your fruit, you're a high fat, you're a high carb dieter. Everybody's different. We have to find what works for us, not what so-and-so said with a great body on Instagram. And that way you're going to be able to stick to this long term. Remember, you should be able to stick to something long term. Otherwise, there's no point starting it. If you enjoy these type of videos, leave a like and a comment and hit subscribe. And if you want me to film any videos, just leave it in the comments box and I'll get a video filmed for you.